everyone and welcome to my channel Restore Glory. Thank you again for stopping by my channel. I always have to say that from the very beginning because I am very grateful that you guys stop by my channel and uh, see all of my content and uh, I totally love bringing the vintage and the vintage home decor and sometimes antique it just depends on what i pick up but thank you so much for stopping by my channel i'm talking a little bit soft today because again as i talk about all the time my allergies are wreaking havoc wreaking havoc i do not feel a hundred percent i don't feel my best um anyway i'm just i'm just in a state <coughs> and i'm trying my best to push through <coughs> i'm trying my best to push through and it is, uh, this is almost like retail, it's almost like therapy for me, uh, doing the haul videos. I'm catching up. As you, as you notice, I have been doing back-to-back, -back, uh, videos only because these videos were, or they are being produced kind of sort of back-to-back-to-back. -to -back -to -back. Um, and I'm just now, uh, getting caught up. I actually have one other haul after this one. This is a very small haul, but, um, I had, I think I have one other haul to do, and then I should uh, hopefully be all cut up. I keep thinking I am. And then I have uh, bags uh, that I had put away that I really wasn't remembering. Did I do the haul? Did I not do the haul? I don't remember. So anyway, I am trying my best to catch up, but I do thank you guys. Hey, I have put all of my contact information down here in the description. Uh, my email address is there. If you guys see anything in any of my hauls that you just got to have, just let me know. Um, I am happy to send you an invoice. If you do like this type of uh, content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And then also hit the bell notification so that when I do upload videos, YouTube will send you a message and say, oh my goodness, that Don is doing another video. So that'll give you an opportunity to, um, to um, see my videos when I put them up. So the other thing I wanted to mention, as I mentioned in my previous video, I have decided to go ahead and do a Christmas in July sale, which is scheduled for, when did I say? Friday, July the 26th. It is at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to have about 25 items, a variety of uh, Christmas items um, to bring to you. And hopefully it won't... Um, it won't take too long. I'm hoping that I can get through the, get through everything within a reasonable amount of time. But I do believe it'll be some amazing stuff. So don't forget to hit the uh, uh, go go to the site. As a matter of fact, and there's a notify button. There's a uh, under my live videos. If you hit the notify me, it'll notify you when I go live on that day. So um, so if you don't have anything to do on Friday night, the 26th of July, come on by my channel. All of you who subscribe to my channel and all of you who are new to my channel, come by and see all the wonderful uh, Christmas goodies that I have in store. Some are little, some are in the middle. And when I say in terms of size, and some of them are big. So hopefully you will enjoy it. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Thank you so much. I'm going to try to keep this within 30 minutes. All right, guys, so um, uh, you may remember from my previous videos that I told you that I also ha I have an Etsy and an eBay shop. My Etsy shop has been revamped. I've said it a few times now, and I hope that you guys don't mind. But my Etsy shop has been revamped. I have decided just to focus on, excuse me, only plush, excuse me, plush and pottery on my Etsy shop. Um, that's a mouthful. I had a whole, I was trying to manage both uh, sites and it was just too much to manage. So I uh, said that what I was going to do is revamp my Etsy shop and only sell plush and pottery. And so far it's been, it's been pretty dang on amazing. I kind of sort of like it. I made a few sales, as a matter of fact, a bunch of sales in the last, what, uh, two weeks maybe. So I'm really excited about it. So um, having said all of that, uh, Another plush I, I picked up. I believe, I believe that this is, I want to say I thought it was Pottery Barn Kids, but it may not be. It says PB. Um, actually, I'm sorry, it says PBC. So this may not be Pottery Barn Kids. I'll show you the label, PBC. Do you guys know that label? I don't know why I thought that was a K, but it's a C. Um, but I picked it up because I, it, in my head, I was thinking it was Pottery Barn, but nonetheless, it is a cute little plush bear, right? And he has on a cute little sweater. He is bright orange. 
Um, I don't know anything about the PBC bears, but I'm pretty sure this little baby will do well um, for your Halloween decor and uh, your Thanksgiving decor, Halloween decor, or fall decor. He's a cutie patootie, aren't you? But anyway, he was only $1.99 too. It was a $1.99 today. So again, the plush is going to go on my... Um, on my Etsy, on my Etsy shop. Give me one second. My nice little vintage glass that I got from Whatnot. Isn't that cool? I love it. Give me one second. It's some mango pineapple juice crap I got from. Oh, where did I get that from? Dunkin' Donuts. All right. Bear with me, guys. So the next item I picked up was a beautiful sun catcher. This was, I believe, only $1.99. I love these things. They sell really, really well for me. This is a beautiful hummingbird. It's in great condition. A lot of times when you get these, there's some, depending on its age, there are some scratching and there's some paint loss. But as you can tell, this one is in great, great, great condition. I don't see any um, paint loss or anything on the piece. And I think it's a lovely, lovely, lovely sun catcher. And thank goodness, I'm actually in the window where you can kind of sort of see how beautiful it is. Sorry for my uh, ring light. But isn't this a beautiful sun catcher? I absolutely love it. I found another one. I found a sun catcher cross um, at the uh, thrift store too. That was $1.99. I actually just hung it up on my wall. I love crosses. And um, I'll take a picture of it and I'll put it there so you guys can see it. But that one I found for $1.99. All right, the next item... So I recently discovered this, oh my goodness, what is her name? She is called Pish Posh Reseller. That's her, her YouTube channel, Pish Posh Reseller. I just recently discovered her, right, and subscribed to her channel. She is pretty daggone amazing. Oh my God. She, I, I, I don't know where she lives. I want to say, I think she lives in Madison, Wisconsin. She recently found an entire set of mid-century modern um starburst pattern dinnerware right you know that really highly collectible starburst pattern mid-century modern dinnerware she found an entire set and if i heard her correctly i mean i'm talking dinner plates salad plates bowls i think she said she found a creamer and a sugar um like a ton of it and um she actually even showed the prices that are on eBay right now. Oh my god, I I I have I would I would lose my natural mind if I ever found that. As much as she found, she took a picture of her cart, and her cart was full of all of this stuff. So those sets can go anywhere between I don't know five hundred to like over two thousand dollars. That's how highly collectible they are, and I think she said in her haul video. That in addition to all of the uh, plates and all of the, the dinnerware set, her husband bought some, I want to say like some skull caps or some baseball caps or something like that. And I think she said she paid like $10 for everything. I want to make sure, I'm going to have to go back and watch that particular video again, but I'm pretty sure it was some crazy price. Everything in terms of those Starburst plates, guys, look them up. Trust me, Star mid century modern and Starburst plates are highly, highly collectible. I don't think I'll put a picture of this so you can at least see what I'm talking about. Anyway, I digress. I just recently found her site. It's called Pish Posh Reseller, the Pish Posh Reseller, or something like that. She also went to a yard sale or an estate sale, I'm not really sure. Uh, found this suitcase. It was $10. The suitcase was completely bind up, but the treasure was a bunch of Barbie stuff on the inside. There was one Barbie outfit that, that uh, was completely intact, like with the top, some boots or something else, some other accessory. And that alone was, was selling on eBay for about $40. So she had already been well into her investment of $10 over it, as a matter of fact. So it got me to thinking about Donna, don't sleep on dolls, right? Don't when you're when you're at thrift stores, make sure you go and check out that section. Like I'm not a, a Barbie. Even when I was a girl, I used to like Barbie. I used to like Barbie. But I never was a collector of like all the clothes and all the accessories and you know, Barbie's, you know, convertible or Barbie's house, right? But it's a thing. It definitely is a thing. 
So I'm saying all of that to say that I um, am keeping my eye out and keeping my uh, eye out for anything that may be Barbie related. And so lo and behold, today I found this amazing piece. It is called Barbie's Floating Cool Fashions. So it is new in package, obviously, as you can see, it's never been opened. Um, this was originally from Montgomery Ward for $4.49, as you can see, and I paid $1.99 for it. And it, it on the back, it says $19.93 Mattel. So apparently this little piece comes with a, it's a fun inflatable water toy that Barbie can really float with. So it comes with her inflatable uh, uh, water water toy. It comes with her uh, her suit, her swimsuit. It comes with, I don't know why those are bananas. Are those bananas? Yeah, there's fruit. I don't know why. Barbie's chilling. I don't know what's going on with that. But anyway, <laughs> I don't know what's the, the nature of the fruit. But anyway, she's chilling. I guess she has to eat after all that swimming. Um, anyway, it's a, it floats best when it's fully inflated. So this little thing right here, you can blow it up and, you know, Barbie can, Barbie can have a good old time, you know, in the daggone pool, I suppose. Wait a minute. Hold on for a second. Is this supposed to be something else in here? No. Anyway, I'm so sorry, guys. Anyway, so as you can see, it is a unopened Barbie accessory fashion thingy all right and so these are selling on ebay anywhere from i want to say 9.99 to 22 dollars um so the prices are all the souls are all over the place for this so again for my dollar 99 cents investment i think i'll do fine if i make 15 dollars for it that'd be fine even 10 dollars it'll be fine bread and butter right and it'll be easy to ship <clears throat> so that's that so the next item, I was disappointed because I didn't realize, I knew that I had sold this before, but I did not realize that there was a piece that was missing here. So these are German, um, are they German? I think they're West Germany uh, clocks or whatever, wooden clocks. And so believe it or not, this little piece right here sells for really, really, really good money. I'm disappointed because like I said, something as you can see broke off right there, it should be like a little flower part or something like that but the deer is there the bird is there and here's the mechanism on the inside let me just move this out the way so you guys can see see the mechanism on the inside and then this little dangling um maiden on the swing right so i sold one of these i don't know whether or not it was a year ago but i sold one of these and I paid $2.99 for this particular piece. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm so disappointed that whatever was there was broken. But I still think I'll do good because for the most part, everything else is in good shape, right? So I will disclose the, I'm not a, I'm not opposed to selling things that are damaged because I think if they're highly collected, now if this, if this had, um, and it was complete, uh, and not damaged, these things can sell for about $45, $50, all right? And so I paid $2.99 for it. So even if I don't get, obviously, that amount of money, I'm pretty sure I can probably sell it for at least $20, right? At least $20. That's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. So I'll have to see. I'll do some more research on it and see if they, some of them have been sold, damaged or whatever, and uh, maybe I'll even try and see if I can locate the little missing piece. Maybe somebody, you know, was selling that. So we shall see. So that's that. The next piece I'm amazingly excited about because I love Mr. Christmas. I have some Mr. Christmas stuff, believe it or not, that I'm going to... Um, that I'm going to offer in my Christmas in July sale. If you guys know anything about Mr. Christmas, Mr. Christmas is highly collectible. People love Mr. Christmas. You can find some really vintage, super duper vintage Mr. Christmas items. And even Mr. Christmas is still sold to this day. So when I first started reselling, oh my God, it was all over the place. Like I, I sold a ton of Mr. Christmas stuff back in the day. Like uh, when I first started reselling, which was 2000 and uh 17 2017 yeah so mr christmas sells really really well and i'm going to have some mr christmas items in my um in my what do i try to say 
Christmas in July sale. And this is going to be a piece that I'm going to offer as well. I didn't realize, uh, first of all, I didn't realize how much these little, they're calling them rare. They are Mr. Christmas like musical books. So when you open it up, it has like a little um, uh, song verse, if you will. But also it's musical. So give me one second. So now I'm not going to be able. So here's the Mr. Christmas. Um, here's the Mr. Christmas um, tag. So if you guys don't know Mr. Christmas, look Mr. Christmas up. If you are a reseller, this particular Mr. Christmas, follow the magic. Anything that says that sells really, really well. I have a set of Mr. Christmas. Um, they're like little mini uh, glass Christmas trees that light up. And I have about, I want to say I have six of them. I have six or eight of them. Not, I'm not really sure, but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably I think some of them are listed on eBay already. But I, I'm gonna pull two of them for the Christmas in July sale because again they're small, they're cute little light up ornaments, and uh, they will be good to ship. And they're like you can just add them as part of your Christmas uh, decor. All right, so that's that. Excuse me, one second. Move some stuff around. Give me one second. I have a big old thing I need to show you too. All right, so the next item I want to show you is a set of uh, little uh, metal boxes. So I got all three of these boxes for $1.99 at my Second Avenue. So when I was first looking at these things, I literally thought they were little cats. I really did. I'm like, oh my God, people love cats. Donna, pick up the cats. But, you know, upon further inspection, I realized that these were not cats. These were uh, bunnies. So I think this is the this is the mama bunny. Pardon that, uh, my glare. This is the mama bunny, right? With that tin. This one, <laughs> this one is my favorite. I don't know why, but this one is my favorite. I don't know why this one reminds me of my uh, great niece Quinn. I don't know why, right? Little little metal tins, and then it's this one. She's a cutie patootie too. So it's a set of three of them. So it look it looks like it's the mama and the and the and the two kids, right? For $1.99, I couldn't believe it. I just thought that even though Easter is gone, I, uh, I'm i going to probably get these things listed. And uh, somebody is going to adore these cute little metal boxes that they can decorate. Here's a little tag on the back. It says, I don't know, SCC China. So I don't think that they're... I'm 100% <coughs> I'm sure these babies are not not vintage. They are probably from maybe even the dollar store. I'm not really sure. But I thought they were super cute, and I thought that they would be, excuse me, they would make a perfect addition to your Easter and or spring home decor, right? So there's a set of three of these babies. So I'll try to keep those listed at some point. The next item I'm going to show you is a, I don't know, I picked this thing up and then I put it, but give me one second, guys. I got to drink again. I'm so sorry. And I just realized I don't feel like cooking. <sighs> I do not. I'm sorry, I digress. I literally was not sure if I was going to pick this bottle up or not. But then I looked on the bottom and it had a made in Italy. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that embossed uh, uh, on, the, on the bottom. But it definitely does say made in Italy. And I just thought it was super cool bar decor. It says Deutschland right and i love the kind of it has a mid-century modern vibe to it i don't know why it's in excellent condition guys no chips no cracks the stopper works it's a little hard to pull out but you know that's probably just because of age but i just thought this was super cool right so i saw a set like this on ebay and it came with some glasses and i want to say that the entire set even with this with the decanter was like 79 dollars with the glasses so I paid four ninety nine, I think, for this particular decanter. And anybody that loves bar, who, anybody that collects bar decor and loves, you know, just kind of sort of the mid century modern kind of vibe, and you know, love to collect different and unique bottles. I thought this was super cool. Isn't that cool? It has like a little faux leather uh, band around it, and it says Deutschland. So I thought that was super cool for four ninety nine. I'm like, uh, yes, please. 
So that's that. The next item I found is a, uh, it's a recipe box. And on the back it says uh, gold medal. It is just like a little cute gold medal, um, promoting a gold medal flower. Very vintagey looking. I, I do really pretty, I do well with uh, vintage styled recipe boxes. The cool thing about this one is that it came with all of the, uh, the recipe cards and um, the tabs. So that's pretty cool. And I think this was only like a dollar ninety nine. I think, but it's uh, it may not necessarily be super vintage. It's by this company called Connemar in Ocala, Florida. Do you see that? But it absolutely has all of the markings of the gold, uh, gold medal flower. Um, it has this wonderful lady on the side. She looks like she's about to bake a cake. And uh, here's the front again, and then here's the side. And then here's the top. Sorry about that glare. Isn't that cool? So an intact uh, recipe box. I thought that was pretty cool. The next item, I have sold one of these before. I'm going to hopefully not make it make noise. But I have sold one of these things before. It is a beautiful, large and heavy brass and wooden handled uh, bell, right? So I sold one that was embossed. It says something about something railroad. And I sold that for like, I want to say 50 bucks, right? This one was only a $4.99. It's heavy. It's, it's, it's heavy. Here's the clabber on the inside, as you can see. There's no maker's mark on it anywhere. Sorry about that. But here's the handle. The handle is in relatively good shape. I want to shine that up a little bit with some, some type of oil. Um, I wish there was some type of maker's mark on it, but there is not. So metal brass bells, I'm trying to think which reseller I was watching recently. And they were telling me um, that she has been picking up brass bells and selling brass bells like crazy. So when I saw this, I'm like, okay, uh, I'm going to pick it up. So... Like I said, I sold one in the past. That one did have the markings of some type of railroad. So it sold really well. This one does not have a marking on it. But again, because it is heavy, because it is a brass, I'm going to probably try to clean it up just a little bit. And um, But for the most part, look how beautiful it is. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. And it's heavy. It's all get out. All right, I got two more things to show you. So the next set of uh, figurines I'm going to show you, I love Buyer's Choice. I have sold Buyer's Choice. If I get Buyer's Choice at a good price, I'm going to pick them up. They sell really, 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 really well for me. On my eBay store right now, I have some Buyer's Choice um, dolls. I have a bunch of people looking at them, and I'm pretty sure they will probably sell soon. But uh, so I found a set. I found two today. One was $4.99 and one was $5.99. A good buyer's choice doll, the Carolers, would do really, really well. It can sell anywhere between $35 to $75, depending on the theme. So the first one that I'm going to show you is this one right here. This gentleman, I always, I, I kind of sort of think he had something in his hand, in, in, his, in this hand right here. But that's the buyer's choice. That's what they, they have. There are many um, reproductions that look like buyer's choice. But always remember that if you, a true buyer's choice is going to have the buyer's choice label on the bottom. This one was originally sold at um, Woodworth and Lothrop, which was in Washington, D.C., for $42 back in the day. That store is no longer in business. It's been out of business for 50 years, I believe. Um, but nonetheless, this particular buyer's choice, I think I paid $4.99 for him. And again, I think there was something in his hand, but I'm still going to list him because people who collect buyer's choice, they really don't care. They just want the, they want the carolers. They want them to be, they, they want a variety of them. And of course they sell much better if they're fully intact, but I have sold buyer's choice without when things were missing. Sometimes they carry baskets. Sometimes they have other accessories that come with them. And, um, and, but they, they have still sold for me. So he, I pay, I, I pay $4.99 for him. The next one, she looks like a, um, very, uh, Williamsburg caroler. And then on the bottom, as a matter of fact, it says, especially created for Williamsburg, right? And she is uh, a lovely lady. Now I do know for sure, she definitely did have a basket in her hand. And um, 
She had a basket in her hand, but her clothes and everything, as you can see, are in good condition. No, uh, no tears, no rips, no stains. And there's her face. You can tell the buyers, doll. They're just so quality made. So she, I paid $5.99 for her. So for the total between the two, I paid $10. When I looked her up with her basket, uh, she sold on eBay, I want to say for $75 with the basket. Yeah. So I am hoping that um, I can sell her um, for uh, not the $75, but I'm hoping that I can get a good price for her so if you guys ever see buyer's choice in the store if you get them say under seven dollars get them because depending on the the theme or depending on the buyer's choice doll they can go for really good money if you go on ebay right now and do a search for buyer's choice carolers it's gonna pull up a, it's gonna pull up a bunch of them um and then just do a uh just do filter <clears throat> and do the buyer's choice that are over say $30, and you'll see that the prices can go anywhere from $30 to over $100 for these Buyer's Choice dolls. That's the reason why I always pick them up. They do take a while to sell, particularly, you know, before Christmas. They take a little bit of, a little bit of time to sell. That's the reason why I'm going to go ahead and get the Carolers listed now. Um, because again, people who uh, love them and collect them, they uh, they like the variety. So they're always picking them up and they use them for their Christmas decor, the carolers. And I actually saw, oh my goodness, this is probably like a year or so ago. There was a, uh, it wasn't a reseller. It was a, it was a reseller who took a picture of, I think this reseller got a picture from somebody who bought one of her buyer's choice. And she had like a whole like shelf of them. I mean, I want to say at least 50 of them, right? And she took a picture of them to show her collection and she had about 50 of them. So I thought that was super cool. All right, guys, so this next item, I got to pull this over because it was so many of them. They came in the little baggies. It is a set of mice, right? And I paid $4.99 for one and I think $2.99 for the other, uh, the other baggie. But all of these mice came in separate baggies. One of them, and I'll show them to you, one of them recently sold on eBay for about $25, right? So I just wanted to show you those because I couldn't figure out any other way to show you but to put them on my little glass case here. But I have all of these mice, and some of them are more than others. But again, I paid $4.99 for one bag and $2.99 for the other. So what is that? Five five and three so eight dollars but i will tell you also that this particular one right here this is a left in piece this particular left in let me just show you the bottom it says left in item number or number two two three one that's the left in label this particular left in figurine mouse that's on the phone it's a girl she recently sold for about 25 dollars She's a cutie patootie. She sold for $25, right? So I thought that was pretty amazing. The next one that sold really, really well is this one right here. I want to say it's Napco. Don't quote me on that. This little teeny one right here. She usually is sold with a, a partner. Like this is a girl. And I think the guy they sold together was selling for about $25 as well. So she is a single, but she will probably, even if I get, I don't know, $10 for her, she should be fine, right? And I do believe it's Napco. On the bottom, it says um, made in Hong Kong. You guys may not be able to see that, but made in Hong Kong. And everything else I think was, it was I couldn't find anything on everything else. There was one that I did find. I think this one is, um, it's called Forest Friends, and I think it's an Avon piece. And this one sells for about, um, I, I would say between five and eight dollars, right? And then there's this one. I couldn't find anything on this one, this little mouse, right? I couldn't find anything on him. He's a cutie, patootie. Uh, I'm going to call him, um, I think that's a loaf of bread and it's like, you know, Thanksgiving type of little fella. He looks like he may be either... Um, NASCO or 
I don't think he's left in. He might be left in, but he looks like he may be NASCO or something like that. Um, and then I found this one is a Inesco. This one is definitely Inesco. Let me just show you the little label on the bottom. This is a cutie patootie. I couldn't find it, but he's cute, right? And then I found a candle. Believe it or not, this is a candle. There's no mark. There's no mark on it, but it's a candle. It's a little creepy. A little creepy. And then finally, this pewter. Um, it's a, a window hanging, but it's made out of pewter. And uh, he hangs on the wall, as you can see. Hangs on the, the window or something like that. I believe there is a maker's mark on the back. I'm going to have to get my magnifying glass, but it definitely is some type of maker's mark. I think it's a, it could be a, oops, it could be an ornament too. I forgot there's a hole right there. So it could be an ornament as well. Maybe someone turned it into something that you can hang on the window. I'm not really sure, but whoever turned all of this in, they love, they love the mice. So with the exception of, excuse me, with the exception of this left in piece, I think I'm going to sell her separately. I think what my plan is to lot them all up, right? I think I'm just going to lot them all up and just sell them as a lot. Because I do believe that there are people... Actually, I may sell her separately too. Um, but I think I'm just going to sell them all as a lot. The rest of them uh, as a, you know, as a lot. I don't have to deal with them and taking pictures of, of them all individually or whatever because that's too much. But people love the mice. They love them. They're cutie patootie. People collect them. Oh, my neighbors are out. Don't give the dog. Um, they're cutie patootie and um, uh, people love them. All right, guys. So that is my haul. I am at 33 minutes, which is great. I think I picked up some amazing stuff. I am really super duper excited about this particular decanter. I don't know why, but I love this decanter. The other thing that I'm really excited about is this is uh, Stitch. I'm just excited about Stitch, right? Because not only is he musical and animated, I paid I paid a dollar ninety nine for him, and I'm pretty sure he will do well once I clean him up, right? If you guys don't know, by the way, if you don't, if you guys don't know, um, this is a reseller that I follow. Uh, it's called um, Oh my goodness, the Rebel Reseller. She is uh, the queen of plush toys and the queen of plush sales. So go check her out. The Rebel Reseller. She has a ton of information about her uh, her picking up and selling plush animals. Um, some of her stuff is kind of sort of bread and butter, but it all adds up, right? If you go to the bins and you're spending like 50 cents or a dollar or even $2 or something, and you can sell it for 15, that those little $15 increments add up. So that's one of the things that intrigued me about the plush and the pottery. I guys, you know, I told you this story where this happened a couple of months ago. I was at my Goodwill, found a Build-A-Bear Halloween, um, I'm sorry, a Build-A-Bear Halloween with pumpkins all over him uh, plush, right? And I want to say I paid $4.99 or $5.99 for it. I'm not really sure. It was less than $6. I'm pretty sure. I sold that baby for about a hundred dollars, right? So that's the thing that got me into the uh, the uh, looking and scouting out for plush, right? And kind of sort of honing in on that niche on the Etsy shop because I could at least focus just on that, only list plush and pottery. And so far, so good. It's been it's been really really good. So guys, if you haven't checked out my Etsy shop, go over there and see the the plush and the pot. I have lots of wonderful pottery pieces and some fun plush pieces as well. All right? All right, guys, so that's the end of my uh, my haul. Thank you so much for stopping by. I have to figure out what I'm gonna eat for dinner. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. I don't really have too much of an appetite anyway, but um, I wanna eat something light. Like, you know what I really want is a good BLT. That's what I really feel like is a good BLT. Do you guys every, every, just, every now and then just want a good BLT sandwich? Anyway. But I'm too lazy. I don't feel like cooking. I don't feel like cutting my stove on. Alright guys, I'm 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 done. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel, Restore Glory. Uh please check out uh my eBay shop and my Etsy shop. And again, if there's anything that you guys like in this haul or any of my hauls, just shoot me an email and I'm happy to send you an invoice. However, let me just give you another update. I have decided not to use PayPal anymore because PayPal has burned me three times. I had some issues with my identity 
being compromised, my financial information being compromised. And so, and that was through PayPal. And I have, I was on the phone with them for uh, a couple of times, as a matter of fact, trying to get it all straight. And it happened to me three times, not once, not twice, but three times. So I decided, although it's convenient and it's, it's relatively inexpensive, as a matter of fact, they don't charge you. Um, there's probably some fees that, they, that you incur, but I cannot have my financial information compromised. I will not. So what I decided to do, I decided to sign up for uh, Intuit QuickBooks. And so um, uh, even though it's going to cost me, I can use it for other things too. The one thing I do love about it is I can generate uh, invoices, right? And so if you guys have, it'll be the same exact process. I'll still need your um your contact information, your YouTube information, your full address, your email address, all of that. I'll send you an invoice. It'll it'll automatically, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, connect you to a, a link where you can make payments, you know? So that's the easiest thing that I can think of for right now. If PayPal, whatever, gets, gets it together, I don't know. May, I know a lot of people like PayPal. I totally get it. But I also know a lot of people who don't like PayPal for what happened to me. So, um... I, um, I've decided to switch that way. So it's going to be interesting to see. I'll, it'll be the first time when I do my live sale coming up in a couple of weeks, it'll be, um, it'll be interesting to, uh, see how it all works when I have to invoice people. Um, I'm, pl I'm going to be playing around with it in the meantime, just to make sure I can set everything up and, you know, my payment information is correct and I can collect payments. So that probably was way too much information, but as resellers, you guys, if you are a reseller, you kind of sort of get what I'm saying. We cannot have our financial information compromised at all, no matter what platform we use. Right. And so, um, so yeah, that's my, that's my story and I'm sticking with it. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Smooches.